Hello everyone and welcome back to another jailbreak tutorial. Today I will be doing an updated tutorial for how to jailbreak the first gen iPhone in 2022. Uh, my old tutorial still works, but it's just getting a bit old now and I figured that I could do a much better one now. And uh, so we're just going to get started here. So the first thing you'll need is a computer running Windows 8.1 or older. I have Windows 7 here. Just kidding. I have a new method today that shouldn't require any computer. And it is called... No, that was supposed to come up. It was called... Or it still is called Jailbreak Me. It's a classic jailbreak tool that I never really even think about much anymore, which is kind of crazy because it was a legendary tool. It's just jailbreakme.com, and the thing about this tool is it doesn't need a computer. You just go to your browser and you jailbreak, and it should work on 3.1.3, so let's try it out. I will keep this uh, laptop on, though, because uh, my 2G's battery is low and I don't have a free outlet, so here it is, my iPhone 2G with a newly replaced battery this time, so I just, it, this time I'm not keeping it plugged in because the battery sucks, like I was last time. I'm keeping it plugged in because it just simply wasn't charged. So just go to Safari, and the address bar is just jailbreakme.com. Go to it, and you'll see this uh, screen, and now I can't figure out how to get rid of this again. Can I just, oh well, we'll just refresh. There we go. And then just slide to jailbreak. That should theoretically be it. This is for 3.1.3. Let's see. I remember trying this a while ago and it didn't work. So we'll see if it works this time. I love this snow leopard inspired uh, background or just leopard. But it would have been snow leopard. This was 2009. So let's see if it actually jailbreaks. I think the progress bar is moving. Alright, I'm going to set it down and just get a shot on it and wait. And there we go, it says, Cydia has been added to the home screen, have fun. So if I exit out, we now have Cydia. But, you're not done yet. There's still a couple of important fixes you'll have to do to actually get it working. The first message you'll see is this, who are you? Uh, it encourages you to use the user setting this just was an older Cydia feature that isn't around anymore that filtered packages based on your needs. I always hit developer because on a device this old you're unlikely to screw anything up. So it's going to start downloading packages here. And it's going to give you this screen that says uh, this version of Cydia is no longer supported. So just wait for the package download to be done probably stuck right now waiting for a response from the ultra snow repo which is uh, offline let me see Ooh. yeah we're just gonna have to wait for it to finish and there we go you can tell how old the version of city is based on the refreshing error that we got now it's gonna go to this screen that says reloading data I'm gonna cut here because uh, before you update Cydia, that screen will take literally 20 minutes on its on its like first run. So I'm just going to wait. So uh, check back in like 20 minutes. Uh, when it's done, might want to go get a cup of coffee depending on... Well, probably wouldn't be a good idea for me right now. You can see what time of day I'm recording this. <laughs> Alright, that didn't take nearly as long as I, as I expected. So just hit complete upgrade when you get to this screen saying that there are essential upgrades. So it's uh, lagging for a second, and then boom. 
you'll see it's got a ton of packages ready for update. And one of them is updating Cydia installer itself. So yeah, just go ahead with this and then just wait while it does all this. Then it's going to go into reloading data again, so you'll have to wait another couple of minutes. Alright, and City is straight up just closed after uh, the reloading data finished, which is not too uncommon. Oh, no. No, we're back. Ha. Huh. Well, that was weird. Alright, I will keep waiting. That's what I was expecting to see that. And there we go. You'll get this message saying, unable to load, network error, untrusted server certificate. Don't worry, this is normal, and we're going to have to go through reloading data again. It shouldn't take nearly as long this time. Basically, the back end of Cydia is working. You can download, install, update sources, and packages just fine, but the actual web view front end, because if you don't know, Cydia, everything you see from a tweak page to the home page is literally a web page. So the Cydia home page won't load if it can't connect to the internet. At least on that's how it worked on these older versions. So, because of that, uh, and the fact that certificates go bad, they expire, encryption breaks, stuff gets updated, you'll get this screen on anything that's trying to load a web page on Cydia. Luckily, uh, a developer who has made a lot of tweaks for old iDevices, I like this iPhone, uh, has made a tweak that fixes this so that you can still access Cydia. So, I'm going to go ahead and demo how to do that and get it installed right now. Oh, I don't even need to cut. <laughs> so, go to your sources, which you see this, this, this part will load, and uh, add a new one. And you'll want to type in uh, Cydia dot Invoxy. No, Invoxy like that. Play games dot UK. Do not put dot co dot UK. It's just dot UK. And then you'll see this will say network error. Do not press reload. Just wait you can see the network access spinny thingy is still going and now you can see it's reloading data again when this finishes that button that says reload will turn to a button that says close then you can press it because this the back end works so it's loaded the source up but the front end that shows you it's loading the source isn't working all right now we can hit close and the source has added ipg city or repo so enter it, go to all packages, and click on Cydia HTT patch, and now you'll get the network error again. Just hit install, and then hit confirm, ignore the network errors. And now just as we did when we were loading in the source, when it pulls up the network error, don't hit reload and just wait. It's installing the package in the background, you just can't see it. There we go, it's reloading again. And there we go. Now when it says close, click close, and your device will respring. That's that second spinny thingy. You'll hear the charge sound if you're plugged in. If not, you won't. And then, boom, slide to unlock. Go over to Cydia and load in. And it says home now, and you're in. The logo up there is bugged, but other than that, you are completely up and running. You can access all your sources as expected. We can go to just a random package here, and I can show you that that works. Like a Checkmate store. Another useful one for downloading apps, if the App Store decides to work for you. If the App Store isn't working on one of your old devices, it's not just you, it's other people too. You can see, tweaks load. But uh, yeah, there you go. Cydia, you're jailbroken without even the need for a computer. I didn't need you the whole time. Yeah. Now you can see the mess that's behind here. 
Anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I will see everyone next time. Have a good day or night. Uh, I am out. Bye.